Hello guys, it's me Preena Mabel, Assistant Professor of English in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. This video is about the fiction The Old Man and the Sea that has given in the Unit 4 American Literature. The Old Man and the Sea was written by a famous American writer Ernest Hemingway. He was born on July 21, 1899. He was an American novelist, short story writer and journalist. In 1954, he was awarded Nobel Prize in Literature for his The Old Man and the Sea. Some of his important works are For Whom the Bell Tolls, A Farewell to Arms, The Sun Also Rises, A Movable Feast, The Garden of Eden, etc. He was died on 2nd July 1961. Let me explain the characters first. Santiago. So he is the old man presented in the title. The second character is the Marlin. It is a fish with 18 feet. Manolin. He is the boy who acted as Santiago's apprentice and devoted attendant. The last character is Joe DiMaggio. A baseball player belonging to the American League but he never appeared in this story. He is uh, just the motivation for uh, Santiago. Let's move to the summary. Santiago was a fisherman and he had no fish for 84 days. He was considered as an unlucky fisherman. After 40 days, Manolin goes with some other boat. On the 85th day, the old man again goes for fishing. On the day, Santiago sees a man of war bird overhead and follows the bird. In a particular place, he felt 100 fathoms and he guessed that it is a marlin fish. He could not uh, take the fish into his boat. The fish contains so much weight. So he guessed that it, is, it might be a marlin fish. The marlin starts pulling the boat. He could not catch the fish as he was too old and weak to pull the fish inside the boat. He felt better if the boy was with him. So he often says, I wish I had the boy. He bears the strain of the line with his shoulders and hands. His left hand cramps. That time he motivates himself by thinking about Joe Di Maggio, who is a baseball player. Okay. So out of uh, uh, out of control, Santiago stabs in the body of the marlin fish with his harpoon. So the marlin fish died. He, he is proud of his achievement but misfortune comes in the shape of sharks which bite large chunks of flesh off the body of the marlin fish. The old man fights valiantly using his harpoon, club and knife but nothing helped him. They are all destroyed and totally in vain. Now the old man is unarmed. He sails home with the huge skeleton of the marlin fish after three days of struggle on the sea. The next day morning, Manolin, the boy, visits the old man and plans to go on fishing expeditions with, the, with him despite his lack of luck. While the tourists are chatting about the large skeleton of the marlin fish. The old man is sleeping in his shack and dreaming about the lions. So here the dream shows that his adventure, adventurous uh, spirit is still vibrant. It is not ended yet. After this uh, misfortune. Finally, this fiction ended with a great message. Man may be defeated but not destroyed. I hope this video finds useful for you. Thank you for watching.